Hey guys, welcome to the eighth video of my series on introduction to pandas. And in this video, we're going to see um, the concept of index and indexing. So first of all, um, the thing to understand here is that just like data frame and series, there is a third fundamental data structure in pandas, which is called index like this, as you can see here, index. But um, a data frame can have something called an index, which is used for uniquely identifying uniquely identifying each row of your table. So yeah, there are two different ways of saying index. There are two meanings of index here. So let us start by seeing something, which is our data set, which is bikes.csv. So df.head will give me my data set. So as you can see like this. So now df.index, what this means is that I am referring to the index property of my data frame. So let us see what is the index of my data frame it is a date time index now what is the type of my data frame the type of my data frame is a date time index so now why is it a date time index it is a date time index because i have specified here that i want my index column to be date and i told pandas while reading to that parse dates the date column which means parse the date column to be date time objects. That's why you are seeing this particular format. And again, we have the date as an index. So there is a base class called index in Python. So pd.index is the um, immutable ND array implementing an ordered flexible set. This is a basic object storing access label for all the pandas objects. Okay, so pd.index is the base class of the index data structure and then um, data index is inheriting from it and is being used as an index of our data frame in this particular case. So there are some properties of the index data structure. The properties of your index data structure are that it is an immutable array, which simply means that you cannot change the value of any element inside an index object. And secondly, it is an ordered set, which simply means that um, a, an index contains unique values but they have an order they have a specified order so yeah this is these are the properties of an index data structure and right now what we can see here is that every data frame has an index property and that index is stored in an index data structure yeah so i hope that is clear so now um the thing to understand here is that when I want to do indexing of my data frame by indexing, I mean, I want to refer to a particular row and get its value. Then what I can do is I can just do DF and then I can put square brackets. And now what I can do here, I can just write the value of any index value and look at that. I will get that particular row. So I get the row referring to 2012 five one. So this is the row, right? But now this might be a bit confusing because you have learned that df and then writing the name of any particular column like this will give you that column. So what is happening here? So the thing that is happening here is that pandas, first of all, tries to um, find out if the value that you have passed here is referred to any index name or not, or any column name or not. So if it is a column name, then you get that column. But if there is no column with that name, then it gives you the index value for that particular value that you have passed here, right? So in this way, we are getting two different behaviors here. Now, um, this is the way of indexing. But now let's say you have some different kind of scenario where you, let's say you want um, the 10th row in your table. So in that case, you do not know uh, that at which position is the 10th row or what is the index value of your 10th row. So in that case, you need something called integer based indexing. So for integer based indexing, you can do df.iloc in which you can pass the um, integer index. And for that particular, for that particular integer index, we will get the values of the columns. So df.iloc10 means find the row with the integer index 10, which is the 11th row, right? So you get it like this. So this is called, uh, this is called integer location based indexing. And now um, let us come to the last part, which is slicing of our data frame. So how do we slice a data frame? So slicing is actually quite easy. 
you can simply put it like this one colon five like this so you will get the row number um, one to row number five which is the integer index one to integer index five like this right so slicing is done in this way now let us talk a bit about the columns as well so df berry one will give me this particular column so how do i index it how do i do indexing in it so first of all to do simple indexing i can simply pass it like this i will get a particular um, value for that particular index like this but if i just do and i pass zero what happens is that i get the value for zeroth element as well so here again there is um two different type of behavior for the same syntax but in the case of columns it goes like this it first of all tries to find if there is any index with that particular value if there is an index with that particular value that you have passed here then you will get the value for that particular index like this but if there doesn't exist any index with that value for example in this case then it will give you the element at that particular integer index which is zero so in this case zero you will get the element at the zeroth integer index so you must now understand the meaning of integer index integer index is just like the list indexing that you have in a list i just write l equal to one two three four so i have not specified any kind of indexing but by default i know that l zero will give me the zeroth element like that so yeah so this is how you do indexing in case of columns um in case of any kind of series actually and i hope the concept of um indexing in columns as well as indexing and slicing in data frame is clear and the concept of index is also clear the index the data structure is also clear and i hope now you understand the difference between the index data structure and the index property of a data frame so i hope i hope all these concepts are clear if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching